Yeah, there's a story here too, isn't there? She was exiled for being a disappointment. That's the story, she says. Kino says war is a failure of statecraft. Your brother thinks he can talk his way out of anything. He fancies himself a fox among the wolves, but mark me, child. If you want to last in this world, you must learn to be both the fox and the wolf. And she took that to heart. I will give you the world, child, if you prove you can take it. Yeah, she had a very advanced start to life. What should we do with her? She won't make trouble for us. Strip her of her possessions and send her to the far colonies. You're banished. Get out. Disappointing. Let her live and you may need to kill thousands. We can show the people we are merciful. Imagine listening to this conversation. A wolf has no mercy. Mercy did not win that day, yeah. But which way did she go? Does that mean she resents that behavior or she learned it? At least you got Jace's beefy body to comfort you when you wake up from nightmares. I'll be right back. Okay. You should have been right back sooner. You had to say something. All right, it's too late. Jinx. And again, he's there to pick her up after Vi leaves her. It's always just a little bit too late. She got it. It's gone. That sucks. Pain. There are few things that hurt, like ending up in a situation where you feel devastated, that you've already been to multiple times and realizing that you did it again. You make a mistake once, there are ways to process that. You know, like I didn't know any better. I didn't realize that was a risk. I had no idea how devastating that would be. The second time, you got no one to blame but yourself. Or at least that's how it feels. The guilt is unreal when there's nothing to turn to. There's no solace to turn to. And the only thing you can see is what you didn't do. And that that devastation it is solely in your hands. The only place I think to go from there is to vow for some kind of redemption. Whether or not it's direct redemption, you know, it might not be that exact situation because a lot of times there are no second chances in that direct of a way, but it can be useful as a vow to be better as a person overall in ways that maybe trickle out into other areas. For me in Vi's shoes, I am now basically going to be willing to risk anything to make that right. Speaking of having seen some stuff, this bridge. He hasn't walked among the wolves. But he recognizes good tech. I'm starting to think this woman <laughs> does not have the best <laughs> intentions. And you found a stray. This is Vi. She's from the Undercity. So I see. Snooty elitism. Caitlin. Intensifies, unfortunately. You have to speak riff to Riff Raff. Riff Raff. <laughs> I don't buy that. What else reflects on the council? It's citizens living on the streets, being poisoned, having to choose between a kingpin who wants to exploit them in a government that doesn't give a shit. Oh, Caitlin. How dare you speak ill of our government? Stirs tea snobbily. I'll schedule an audience. Sh did you just say schedule? <laughs> I can't even talk. Oh, does this end with her getting juiced? She won't die. Just a fatherly kiss, nothing sensual about that at all. For your own sanity. Oh, what in the world? He just knock him out. I do once had a daughter. What happened to the daughter? It wasn't that lizard thing, was it? <laughs> the Pokemon? Ah, oh, Savika. We hate Savika. I thought I might bend you here. This guy's bold. You know, when I ask my mate, Still making moves after that embarrassing incident. Get to your point. And Silgo doesn't ship, appreciate you. Except it's not your ship. It's his. And Jinx is. The Undercity is devolving to chaos. I kinda like this guy. <laughs> He's sort of sneaky. Doesn't seem all that strong. But 
there's something admirable about the extent to his sneakiness, if that makes sense. He took a big L last episode, but he's just back at it. I don't know. Points for persistence. And here you are, shoveling his shit. Eagle is Getting attacked one. by Jinx, too. You aren't the only one dissatisfied with his performance. There's bigger fish than Zirko. This guy's like the the rap at the end of 8 Mile. That's <laughs> a weird reference. It's like, yeah, you did bang my girl, and yeah, my friend is a loser. Yeah, I did get knocked out by gas and embarrassed by Silco, but I'm still here trying to take over the underworld. Mom is here. This is an interesting twist. It's been over a decade, Mel, since you banished me. Such drama. <laughs> We're over it. And grow yourself. It's not a big deal. Don't try to ingratiate yourself with me. Mel. War. War. Your brother's gone. He crossed the wrong man. And so I killed him for it. He was a disappointment. War is coming. <laughs> of your under city fester too long. I'm here to help guide you to the right decisions. And the weapons into my hands. It's for me, dear. Yeah, we're not impressed. We got Jace. Jace's got a lot more beef than this guy. What happened to her? It's not your fault. Uh, <laughs> uh well, yes and no. No monster's gonna get you when I'm here. And a real monster showed up. And I just ran away. I left her. That wasn't it. That's not really where she went wrong. She was not running away during that fight with Powder in the aftermath of that huge explosion. Nowhere in her mind at all was the thought of abandoning Powder. She was just caught in the moment and was frustrated. That aspect of it is not a thing for me at all. At least the first time, if that's what she's referring to. Just now, in the last episode when she left despite being face to face with Powder, that I think falls under what she's saying. But as far as the origin of things is concerned, there are two things that stand out to me. One is the fact that her sort of blind hatred, you know, they've taken from us and so it's right for us to take from them, as well as her frustration that led to her impatience were the things that created a situation where she was acting impulsively and going far out beyond what she was ready for. And while that is sort of okay for her, the issue is that she pulled everyone into that world with her, including her younger sister, who just was not ready. One of her flaws is impatience and the lack of emotional regulation. And then second and bigger than that, because that was sort of just chalk it up to being naive and young, right? Was her punching powder in her worst moment. Those I feel are her sins, not abandonment. It's a lot of weight. There, the pain of losing her sister again, representing the physical pain she's in, or matching the physical pain she's in. Mirror. Mirror. <laughs> you seem so out of place here. Keep it moving. I, I love this. He's on a, a journey into the darkness. He's going down into the underworld while simultaneously going into the depths of his own darkness. You know, all the things he probably knew on some level but has been ignoring. This is very exciting. It's funny how much <laughs> I've become a, a Uncle Heimerdinger supporter compared to how he started. He could end up being the ultimate hero. You're only what you do next, you know what I mean? Thank, thank you. Pretty cool. You do a lot of good down there. Dust yourself up off and climb back up the council ranks the story's never over oh, ingenious. is that the hoverboard it's designed for the fissures there is dense <gasps> yes oh. he's alive counselor heimerdinger it's just heimerdinger now uncle heimerdinger to you i have to get home it isn't safe for me here why is it such a cool pairing it's a cool alliance that i never thought of in a million years you're holding my ride Fix that right up for you. I love this. I love that Heimerdinger is given the second look. This is a scenario I really like in general, but I feel like you don't see very often. I love it when older characters or characters who seem to have already done their thing get another journey, if that makes sense. It makes me feel really good to think about it that way because as long as you're alive, there's hope. You know, as long as you're alive, there are arcs to be had and great things to be done. And you never know, you know, it could be right in front of you. I think it's a common and natural fear to feel like something has been missed, but it's never too late. You know, it's never too late to reach for greatness and to find that thing or find 
that spark that leads you to some higher calling or some purpose or, or whatever. I was thinking about this recently with a certain character in Attack on Titan who, not to spoil anything by giving names, once believed he was not special and felt like he had nothing to contribute while everyone else around him sort of rose to glory. For some characters, as well as for some people, I feel like that would be the end of the road. That would just be the way you, you write your narrative and that's just a, a splash of cold water that douses your flame, right? But it's so amazing how it doesn't matter. You can fail at everything your entire life. And if you use all of that to channel it into energy that helps you do even one thing that helps you feel alive, that helps you feel like you're meeting yourself or matching your purpose, it all sort of comes together and it's worth it. When I have moments where I feel that, where I feel like everything's aligned, none of the stuff that comes before feels wasteful. Being in that state, you know, finding purpose, doing doing good things, big things that you're proud of, it helps you make sense of all those moments. And it's such a glorious feeling for me to reflect on the fact that that's always a potential. It's always right there for the taking even if it can be difficult to find sometimes. So Heimerdinger is having a moment like that and I want him to pull something out. I'm, I'm so excited for him. All those years of complacency and sort of whatever he was doing, he could make it meaningful now. You're Mel's mom. Your when you meet the mother-in-law, am I right? Squeeze, child. You won't break it. Navigating your current crisis requires expertise you lack. Expertise and war. What makes this the city of progress is that we keep trying until we get it right. So thank you for your advice, Mrs. Medarda. But I have a city to run. And your daughter to... Wait. Do stuff with. <laughs> hey, stepmom ass. <laughs> and side boob. You have the passion of youth. I Mom, you're embarrassing me in front of my beefy I'm boyfriend. I'm to succeed here, Jace. Slaughtered with your eyes closed. How's <laughs> that water or anxious sweat. She's a woman with a presence. Let's put it that way. We need to act before anyone else gets killed. Perhaps Marcus was operating it's independently. It's wearing on him. It's grinding him down. Counselors, my daughter has a unique insight into our situation. Thank you. Counselors, this is Vi. Thank you for fitting us into your schedule. People are starving. Sick. Ravaged by shimmer. They live in constant fear of the... A lot of them know this, probably. ...of violent crime lords. He believes the Undercity should be independent. He calls it the Nation of Zorn. I don't really understand the politics in the show. Like, you can have it. <laughs> no, I mean, what do we need from them? Does Piltover harness electricity from the pain of drug addicts? Like, do they get their water from the tears of the downtrodden? Like, what do what do you need exactly from them? Let them be free if they want to be free. It doesn't seem like they have any role in Undercity at all. What about these? Do you know who made them? No. Well, uh... Her name is Jinx. She said Jinx. That could trigger war. But there are good people down there. <laughs> Bad ones too. Good people in Honda City. Pish posh. They're still cleaning the blood off the bridge. When do we say enough is enough? Jace, you don't know war. I do. Oh, this is a huge... It must be our last resort. Relief for her to say this. She's such an interesting character. I, I still don't know where to place her, like what she wants. You can't talk to him. He hates you. Everything you stand for. He will never back down. Please escort them out. Forget it. You keep hearing them out. This is how things are, how they've always been. I was so stupid to think it could change. There must be something else we can do. Don't give up on it. Some other way. Top side and bottom, oil and water. That's all there is. What about us? Oil and water. Was it meant to be? Go back to that big, shiny house of yours and just forget me. Oh, stop. Cry me a river. When are you going to stop running away? Boo-hoo! What have you become, Victor? What have you done? Be my, my body awesome! <laughs> worth it! Totally worth it! And I'm sure there are no trade-offs whatsoever. Look at this dude. God, that must feel good. But at a cost. Victor, I've been working on a private project. Oh no, I've come to be rejected for the eighth time. I've been working on this project. It's in my bed. Can you come help me with it? I've been working on this for a year now. Uh. Victor, I was in Oh no, they're dragging this out. It hurts so bad. It's just kind of bad. Oh no! 
Oh! Oh my god! I was not expecting that. That thing just took her out! When you hug your crush and get vaporized. This guy? Well, been there. <laughs> Ugh. That wasn't his fault, though. It shigaraki her. Jace makes technology look so cool. You want to make Soko pay for what he's done? There we go. There is no end. You heard the council. Fuck the council. <laughs> I'm not a vigilante. No, you're a victim. Now I can punch even harder. This is what my punches have been missing. Soko controls the Undercity with Shimmer. Shut down his supply, and it's only a matter of time before his own people turn on him. And how do we That's a that? genius so plan. Manufacturing facilities. Hit him hard and fast before he can react. That is a really intriguing idea. I love the plan to take out the drug manufacturing plants, but I cannot but feel like this is the same mistake from Bi all over again. Her rushing into things she's not equipped for, and she sort of met her match when it comes to impatience. That seems to be one of Jace's leading risks as well, and now you got the two of them taking matters into their own hands, but there is a lot of risk of this, no? The only one who can save us now is Uncle Heimerdinger with Echo. Yep, we just sneak in there and take out the drug facilities and then we get, get the hell out of there. Zero casualties. We haven't seen Jace fight yet. What we have seen though is his muscles. Nice. Cool weapon. What does it remind me of, his weapon? I feel like I've seen it before. <laughs> Damn! I didn't know I could do that. Do League of Legends characters have like a, a long range and a short range attack? You just zapped that kid? Oh, man. Chase. He'll be alright. Walk it off. Well, the violence necessary to enact change? Oh, he's, he's still breathing. <laughs> High potion. High potion. Phoenix down. Ah. <laughs> ah, uh, uh, Chase. Why? Everyone saw that. I know that feeling. Replaying that final conversation over and over again in your head. All the things you should have said. All the things you could have done differently. Ooh. Okay. That's the end of the episode? Are you kidding me? That was so fast. Uncle Heimdinger, save us. We are lost and confused without you. You were right. I'm so sorry to have doubted you. We were too impatient. We should have waited a few hundred years to figure it out. Heimdinger, come back. <laughs> you can blame it all on Jace. What happened to helping Victor? Wasn't that one of Jace's biggest things? One of the most exciting things about the build-up to the final episode is all these character paths finally crossing and intersecting. It's really cool to see how they interact. Vi and Jace ending up being a great fit, but with some major risks. Echo and Heimerdinger end up being somehow the perfect pair. There's just so much happening that my head is spinning. I gotta say, I really, really love the last couple episodes. The series has gotten better and better for me as it's gone along. There's tension in every scene and in every character. Like, no one has sort of made it yet. You know, there's risks for all of them. Things are so explosive. There's so much fuel just waiting to be ignited. And there's only one episode left, so I know it's gonna be insanity.